my, my wife and I have been doing this now for about uh, six or seven years. After a while, we just decided we really like this because every time we went out, we saw something new other than what you see in your backyard. And, and it was something we enjoyed doing together. <clears throat> and, and mainly, it's like today, we just got to get outside. You know, every place we go on vacation now, we always have our binoculars, whether we're at the beach or in the mountains and stuff, we're always carrying them with us because we always see something different. And it's just kind of, a, it's a challenge. It's exciting. Um, my kids think we're kind of nerds, I guess, if that's the right word. And you mean you plan your vacation around where you can go birding? And we do sometimes. It just became something that we kind of got into and enjoyed. And are we experts? No. But I'd say we're probably advanced novice. Um, the you know thing to have as a birder is you know get a, a pair of binoculars. It's it's just um, <clears throat> and a book. Always get a, have a bird book. And and you can also get stuff for your for your iPhones and stuff. There's different apps that you can get that, that are bird identifiers and they have sounds and such. But that's a little advanced for, the, for someone who wants to get first into birding. I think. I almost hate to say it. It almost becomes a, a an addiction. That once you really get into it and you start getting good positive results, you just want to stay with it. But those close encounters for me with the with the just made my my experiences with birding into something really positive. So I think actually for me the most rewarding part is just is really is going out there. And you know, once you know the birds that are in your area, it's when you see something new or you hear something new or you go to a different location and you hear something you hadn't heard before and you start looking at it and it's identifying a bird you don't know what it is. We always have a camera with us and we take pictures of it and we have books with us and we have our iPhone apps and, and we go home sometimes and we'll blow it up on the TV and take out all our books to figure out what it is. That's what's exciting is the, is the, the educational end of it is the challenge of identifying birds that you don't know what they are. You know, the, the, the close-up encounters, they're really memorable moments and they're kind of exciting, but that you don't see that very often. So it's really seeing something you haven't seen before and trying to figure out what it is. And then once you do, you say, oh my Lord, 